Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. In a world shrouded by secrets and concealed truths, one man's shocking revelation is changing everything we thought we knew about our universe. Prepare to witness the unraveling of a century-long deception that has kept humanity in the dark for 92 years. Dr. Michio Kaku has now exposed a breathtaking reality about the origin of our universe, one that starkly opposes the Big Bang Theory. But how exactly does this discovery change our understanding of the Big Bang? And what does the discovery of this ancient galaxy mean for our understanding of the universe? Join us as we delve into this captivating journey, where world-renowned physicist Michio Kaku will be our guide as we explore a shocking discovery that has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is a large space-based observatory designed to be the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. It is a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. The telescope is named after James E. Webb, who was NASA's administrator during the Apollo program. The JWST is designed to observe the universe in the infrared portion of the electromagnetic spectrum, this allows it to peer through dust clouds and study distant objects with greater clarity than ever before. It has a primary mirror that is 6.5 meters in diameter, which is more than twice the size of Hubble's mirror. This large mirror enables the JWST to gather more light and provide higher resolution images. The JWST's two main instruments are the near-infrared camera and the mid-infrared instrument. NIRCAM provides sharp images of astronomical objects in the near-infrared range. It is used for a wide range of observations, including studying distant galaxies, the formation of stars and planets, and detecting exoplanets. MIRI operates in the mid-infrared range and will enable the JWST to study the early universe, the formation of stars and planetary systems, and the atmospheres of exoplanets. Kaku mentioned in recent interviews that the James Webb Space Telescope has made some groundbreaking discoveries that challenge our understanding of the universe. One of the most shocking revelations is that six ancient galaxies were formed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, much earlier than astronomers had previously thought possible. The discovery of these galaxies puts the Big Bang theory in jeopardy as it states that the universe began with a massive explosion and has been expanding and cooling ever since. According to the Big Bang theory, galaxies take billions of years to form. So, how could six galaxies form in just half a billion years? Kaku believes that the Big Bang theory needs to be revised to account for these new findings. Others believe that the galaxies were formed by a different process altogether. The discovery of these ancient galaxies is just the beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope is expected to make many more groundbreaking discoveries in the years to come. It is a powerful tool that will help us to answer some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. Kaku mentioned that the Big Bang Theory is a widely accepted scientific explanation for the origin and evolution of the universe. It states that the universe began as an extremely hot and dense singularity around 13.8 billion years ago. The universe then underwent a rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation, which caused it to cool and become less dense. The concept of the Big Bang Theory was first proposed by the Belgian physicist and Catholic priest Georges Lemaitre in the 1920s. He based his theory on the observations of the universe's expansion made by the astronomer Edwin Hubble. The term Big Bang was coined by the British astrophysicist Fred Hoyle, who initially used it to criticize the theory. However, the name eventually stuck. According to the Big Bang theory, matter and energy began to form as the universe expanded and cooled. After about 380,000 years, the universe became transparent, allowing photons to travel freely. This event is known as cosmic microwave background radiation. The CMB is one of the strongest pieces of evidence supporting the Big Bang theory. It was predicted by the theory and later discovered in 1965. As time progressed, matter and energy continued to clump together due to gravitational attraction. This formed structures such as galaxies, stars, and planets. However, the distribution of matter in the universe was not uniform. The Big Bang theory also explains the observed redshift in the light emitted by distant galaxies. As the universe expands, the wavelengths of light from these galaxies stretch, causing a shift toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, 
This redshift serves as evidence for the ongoing expansion of the universe. The story of the universe goes on and on, but let us consider the theory in the context of the recombination and reionization stage. This stage covers the period in the history of the universe when the plasma of charged particles, mainly consisting of protons and electrons, cooled down enough for electrons to combine with protons, forming neutral hydrogen atoms. This occurred approximately 380,000 years after the Big Bang when the temperature of the universe dropped to about 3,000 degrees Celsius. During the preceding era, known as the era of photon-baryon domination, photons constantly collided with charged particles, preventing them from freely moving and forming stable atoms. This scattering of photons kept the universe opaque. However, as the temperature decreased, the average energy of photons reduced, allowing them to travel longer distances without interacting with matter. This is known as the recombination phase. Once the universe had cooled enough for electrons to combine with protons, the photons were no longer scattered by charged particles. Instead, they traveled freely through the universe, creating a faint glow of light that we can still see today. This glow is known as the cosmic microwave background radiation. The recombination and reionization stage is a fascinating period in the history of the universe. It is a time when the universe began to transition from a hot, dense plasma to a cold, dark place. It is also a time when the first stars and galaxies began to form. As the universe cooled, the electrons and protons that were once bouncing around freely began to combine to form neutral hydrogen atoms. This process, called recombination, happened about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Recombination led to the decoupling of photons from matter. This means that photons were no longer scattered by electrons and protons, and they were free to travel through space unimpeded. This event is called the recombination event. The recombination event is of immense significance because it marked the point at which the cosmic microwave background radiation was emitted. The CMB is a faint glow of radiation that permeates the universe. It originates from the hot plasma of the early universe. Kaku continued explaining that after recombination, the universe entered a phase called the Dark Ages. This is because the universe became largely transparent to radiation. During this time, there were no significant light sources or ionizing radiation. And before this time, there were no stars or galaxies. However, around a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the first stars and galaxies started to form. These objects emitted intense ultraviolet radiation that interacted with the intergalactic medium's neutral hydrogen atoms. The high-energy photons from stars were energetic enough to strip electrons from the hydrogen atoms, resulting in the ionization of neutral hydrogen. This process is called reionization. Reionization is considered a significant event because it marks the transition of the universe from a predominantly neutral state to an ionized state. This ionized gas allowed the first stars and galaxies to shine brightly. The first stars were very different from the stars we see today. They were made up of only the simplest elements, hydrogen and helium. Because they didn't have heavier elements, these stars could be much bigger than our sun, even dozens or hundreds of times its size. These were the first population three stars, and we could not see them yet because our telescopes were not powerful enough. Astronomers estimate that these first stars appeared about 560 million years after the Big Bang. Eventually, these first stars explode as supernovae. Even larger stars formed and exploded too. At that time, the universe's conditions and the composition of these stars made them very short-lived. It was therefore a common and violent occurrence to see stars explode, lighting up the entire universe. During the reionization period, most of the universe was hot plasma. This is the fundamental belief of the Big Bang Theory. Over the years, the Big Bang Theory has been supported by a wealth of evidence, including cosmic microwave background radiation, the abundance of light elements in the universe, and the redshift of distant galaxies. The Big Bang Theory has been the prevailing explanation for the origin of the universe for decades, but a recent discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope has called the Big Bang Theory into question. The James Webb Telescope is the most powerful telescope ever built, and it has been able to see objects that were previously too faint and distant to be seen. One of the most striking discoveries made by the James Webb Telescope is the image of a galaxy called GNZ11. This galaxy is so distant that its light took 13.4 billion years to reach us. 
This means that we are seeing GNZ 11 as it was just 300 million years after the Big Bang. The image of GNZ 11 is very different from what we would expect if the Big Bang theory was correct. The galaxy is much smaller and fainter than what we would expect to see at this time. This suggests that the first galaxies may have formed much later than the Big Bang theory predicts. The discovery of GNZ 11 is not the only challenge to the Big Bang theory. The James Webb Telescope has also found evidence of galaxies that are older than GNZ 11. These galaxies are so old that their light has been stretched by the expansion of the universe so much that it has shifted into the infrared spectrum. This means that we cannot see them with our eyes or even with other telescopes. The discovery of these old galaxies suggests that the Big Bang theory may need to be modified. It is possible that the universe expanded much faster than we thought in the early days. This would have allowed galaxies to form much earlier than the Big Bang theory predicts. The shocking discovery of these galaxies suggests that they formed during the Dark Ages and survived the explosions that were thought to have taken place at that time. Kaku said, This is a remarkable finding that is forcing us to rethink our understanding of the early universe. The two studies which were published in the journal Nature provide further evidence for the existence of these ancient galaxies. The first study, led by a team of astronomers from the University of Arizona, used data from the James Webb Space Telescope to identify six galaxies that are thought to have formed just 300 million years after the Big Bang. The second study, led by a team of astronomers from the European Southern Observatory, used data from the Very Large Telescope to identify two more galaxies that are thought to have formed just 500 million years after the Big Bang. The newly discovered galaxies are unlike anything astronomers have seen before. They are tiny, faint, and have a lot of gas. These characteristics make them stand out from the rest. Astronomers have carefully verified that these are primordial galaxies and not some other cosmic phenomenon masquerading as distant galaxies or nearby imposters. However, some scientists don't appreciate the fact that they may have been wrong for so long and argue that these newly discovered galaxies might be black holes. Black holes are extremely dense objects with gravitational fields so strong that nothing, including light, can escape their gravitational pull. They are formed from the remnants of massive stars that have undergone a gravitational collapse and are frequently found in the centers of galaxies. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer sustain the outward pressure generated by nuclear fusion, which counteracts the force of gravity. Without this pressure, gravity causes the star's core to collapse inward. The collapse releases enormous gravitational potential energy, leading to a supernova explosion. Different types of black holes can form depending on the collapsing star's mass. Once a black hole is formed, it has several defining characteristics. First, black holes have a region called the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing, including light, can escape. It represents the point of no return. At the center of a black hole lies a gravitational singularity, a point of infinite density and gravity. While the newly discovered galaxies may be black holes, it is more likely that they are primordial galaxies. The evidence suggests that they formed just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, which is much earlier than black holes are thought to form. Additionally, the galaxies are surrounded by gas, which is not typical of black holes. Now the interesting part is that even scientists agree that the recently discovered galaxies cannot be black holes, as it would defy what we know about them. So, what other explanations are there? That's the big question. To spot these galaxies, the James Webb Telescope comes to the rescue. Instead of relying on color variations like traditional astronomers do, they use detailed measurements of the galaxy's spectra across different light frequencies. This helps them accurately determine the redshifts, revealing the distance of these ancient galactic entities from us. These four galaxies exist during a fascinating time called reionization, where the first stars are believed to have emerged. The researchers carefully examined their ages and the size of their stars to gain deeper insights. Study co-author Stephen Charlotte, a researcher at the Astrophysics Institute of Paris, expressed his surprise at this early stellar activity. We didn't expect to see such vigorous star formation in such small galaxies, he said. The galaxies also appear to lack complex elements, indicating that their stars have not had enough time to create heavier elements. Instead, 
they primarily consist of the original hydrogen and helium atoms that pervaded the early universe. These findings highlight the rapid growth that these ancient galaxies underwent within just 300 million years of their formation. These galaxies had to grow up fast, said Professor Peter Van Dockum of Yale University. When the James Webb Space Telescope was launched in December 2021, astronomers hoped that it would be able to see the origins of the first galaxies. However, discoveries like these challenge previous assumptions and suggest that galaxies may have emerged earlier than previously imagined. Kaku mentioned that to understand more about the discovery, let's take a deeper look at one of the most remarkable galaxies discovered by the JWST, called GNZ-13. It was born after GNZ-11, making it the oldest galaxy ever discovered, surpassing its predecessor by about 100 million years. GNZ-13 is incredibly small, measuring just a few thousand light-years across. This is tiny compared to our own Milky Way galaxy, which is about 100,000 light-years across. Despite its small size, GNZ-13 is home to a massive amount of stars. It is estimated to contain about 1 billion stars, which is about 10 times more stars than the Milky Way galaxy had at the same age. The discovery of GNZ-13 is a breakthrough in astronomy. It shows that galaxies were forming much earlier than we thought possible. This has implications for our understanding of the Big Bang and the formation of the first stars and galaxies. Astronomer Rohan Naidu, who led the study that discovered GNZ-13, said, We have stumbled upon two compelling contenders for the most distant and ancient galaxies ever found. The cosmic distance between us and them is so immense that the universe was a mere few hundred million years old during their formation. Astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have discovered the smallest galaxy ever seen. The galaxy, called RxJ 2129095, is just 16 kiloparsecs wide, which is about 1 over 240 the size of the Milky Way. RxJ 2129095 is so small that it is not supposed to exist. According to previous models, galaxies need to be at least a few hundred kiloparsecs wide to form stars. However, RxJ 2129095 is defying all odds and forming stars at an alarming rate. In just a few million years, RxJ 2129095 has created more stars than the Milky Way has in its entire history. This is an incredible feat, and it is forcing astronomers to rethink their understanding of how galaxies form. RxJ 2129095 is located about 13.4 billion light years away. This means that we are seeing it as it was just 500 to 550 million years after the Big Bang. It is a truly remarkable object, and it is just one of many amazing discoveries that the James Webb Space Telescope has made. The galaxies that the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered have a very high redshift. This means that they are very distant, and that the light from them has been stretched out a lot. This is why they appear so faint. Redshift is closely related to the Doppler effect which is observed with sound waves. When a source of sound moves towards or away from an observer, the pitch of the sound changes. Similarly, when a source of light moves towards or away from an observer, the wavelength of the light changes. In the case of redshift, the wavelength of light is stretched due to the expansion of the universe. This expansion causes the space between galaxies to expand, stretching the light from those galaxies as it travels to us. The more distant a galaxy is, the more its light is stretched and the greater its redshift. The redshift of light from distant galaxies can be used to estimate their distance from Earth. This allows astronomers to study the large-scale structure and evolution of the universe. In the end, Kaku believes that the discovery of these strange and ancient galaxies is just the beginning of what the James Webb Space Telescope has to offer. With its powerful infrared capabilities, the JWST is sure to make many more amazing discoveries in the years to come. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.